What's up guys, it's Fido from Self Taught Hustle and if you're new to this channel, I teach guys how to code so that they can generate money. And on that note, today I wanted to give you guys an update on my freelance goal. So in September, I made the goal to generate $1,400 in freelance and I was only able to generate $470 in freelance. Now, not too bad, huh? that was across uh, two different clients and made a sale on one client uh, twice and I think one of the things that kept me from getting to $1,400 is maybe adding an additional client, but really what I think it is, is the low price points for my services. And part of the reason why I set low price points initially is because uh, I am or was an unknown in the market. Therefore, what I really wanted to build was reputation in the market and get really good uh, client reviews that I could use across not just Fiverr, but my freelance website, which I did, which I did set up uh, in, in, in that time frame as well. Go check it out, freelancejuice.com. If you guys need to send emails through there, uh, fine, that's fine too if you uh, need to ask me any questions. I am using that website now uh, to communicate with clients. And uh, I just have to say that I'm happy that I've worked with as many clients as I have. I'm probably somewhere around 10 clients. I have uh, several reviews. Those are reviews I added to my freelance site. And now in this month, although I did not hit the $1,400 goal, I'm happy because I landed my first client outside of Fiverr. I was able to land a client in an in-person sale for $350 with Florida state tax included. And it's cool because all I had to do for that client was content editing and for the first time because of the simplicity of content editing and because my increased skill in that area, I was able to complete for, uh, essentially the entire project fairly quickly for $350. And that's the advantage of now having the skill starting to mature is that the speed at which I'm able to deliver is making the compensation feel fairer and fair. So this month, I'm going to be focused more on increasing my prices at a steady rate uh, on Fiverr, as well as client acquisition outside of Fiverr, because I feel like that is going to be my best bet. But one of the really cool things about uh, spending time building my reputation is that I have reviews that I can add on to my freelance website. Again, freelancejuice.com. If you guys want to go and check out the lay layout, if you want to uh, get some ideas for your own website, I think uh, it, you're really going to like the way that it looks. And yeah, and on the last note that I'll say here is that on one of my clients in September, I did pitch a service uh, for some custom code at $900, which I thought was fair for the scope of what they wanted. And we got to the negotiation table and it was really close for me to, it, it was really close, like I was really close at landing uh, the deal. It, it didn't end up going through, but uh, if I'd have been able to acquire that, then I would have been a lot closer to the $1,400 goal. So. I think in the future, what's going to get me to $1,400 is not necessarily acquiring more clients, but uh, being able to charge more fairly for my services. And that will allow me to provide uh, provide for myself at that rate um, with, with without having to think so much about the volume of clients, more so being able to, as I said, fairly charge for my services. And uh, this that's where this is going. And I'm excited because I think October is going to be a very good month for that. And I know we're already part in, but I already did sign my first uh, client. So it's a good pace. Uh, but yeah, did, did just want to give you guys uh, the update. If you guys have any questions, uh, fido.selftaughthustle on Instagram, leave a comment here in uh, the video and as well, make sure to like and uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.